Hi, it's Brandon Steele with Aggie TV, and I'm standing in Aggie Stadium, where the men's football team is going to kick off the Battle of the Golden Horseshoe against arch rival, the Cal Poly Mustangs. Now, the Aggies are looking to bounce back from a devastating loss last weekend against Southern Utah, a game that knocked them completely out of playoff contention. Now, the Aggies, this game is all about pride for them, and both sidelines are asking the same question. Can the Aggies pull off the upset, or is Cal Poly going to win for the fourth year straight in this sixth year history? I'm here on behalf of Aggie TV. It's the beginning of the second half where the UC Davis Aggies are hosting the Cal Poly Mustangs for the Battle of the Golden Horseshoe. The Aggies have scored seven and the Cal Poly Mustangs have scored ten. Brandon Steele once again with Aggie TV, where the UC Davis Aggies just upset the Cal Poly Mustangs with a final score of 23 to 10. I'm standing here with kicker Sean Kelly. Now, Sean, you made kick after kick after kick. You haven't missed a kick since the game in Boise. Now, how have the coaches been preparing you guys week after week to produce great numbers? You know, it's just they let me stay in rhythm during the week by, uh, by you know, kicking field goals on Wednesday nights. And, you know, just when I, I get in a game like this and they give me the, you know, they have the confidence in me to make it, you know, I know I can do it. And, you know, I put it through. So, it's been three years, three <laughs> long years. What have they been saying to you guys all week? Like, what, how do you guys get through? I mean, knowing you guys haven't beat them in so long after last year's loss out there in Cal Poly, what, what is it, how does this feel? I mean, they're a rival. We don't have to get up for anything. It, you know, it speaks for itself. And, you know, it's just the atmosphere here today with how many people there were, you know. We just, we had the momentum the entire game. Cool. So, so next week's last home game, what are you thinking about? How, how does the momentum come into play for next week's game? After beating a team like Cal Poly when we haven't done it in so long, it's going to be nice to get a shot at North Dakota for a share of the championship. Hi, my name is Ndidi Ganagoy. I'm here for Aggie TV with Josh Reese, number 22 of the UC Davis Aggies. I have one big question for you. How does it feel to beat Cal Poly for the first time? First time in four years? A rival, we haven't beat them yet. And then how all that New York Giants went up to Spartan, they were thrown all over us, and we came back and won this time. It's pretty big. I, I love it. So, I've never won a trophy like that before. And seeing the Golden Horseshoe is so nice. Okay. And you're running back, so you had like a really good rush at the end of the game. How did that feel? Uh, at first, I was kind of. A little bit nervous because I got stopped up at the line and was lucky to just bounce it outside with some good blocks. Bakari made a good block and I just tried to stay in bounds with the clock out. So I felt pretty good. Alright, and how are you guys, how are you gonna prepare for the next game? Your last home game against North Dakota. Last home game come out to try to do the same thing we did today, limit the penalties, just come out strong and try and win this conference. I'm in the locker room with fullback Ishman Anderson. So Ish, you guys finally beat Cal Poly, Arch Nemesis, big rival. What's that like? Man, it feel good. I mean, from what I've been hearing, Cal Poly's won like the last three or four games, so it was good to come out there, finally get the victory. I beasted. I got pancake blocks. I'm a beast. And then our other guys did good, too. Uh, I, I made a good block for Nick Abril. Uh, all the receivers caught some good passes. Our O-line blocks pretty well, so we got the job done. It just feel good. Yeah, speaking of Nick Abril, you threw a 
the key block that kind of sealed the deal for the team. Mm -hmm. oh, how did the coaches respond to that? I've seen the guys getting pumped up when they yeah. see you do that. What's that like? Uh, it was good, man, just just to get, just feel respect because I do all the dirty work out there. Fullbacks don't really get the ball. We just hit and put our body on the line all the time. So when I make that good block and the coaches commended me for that, it felt good. So like this man, he gave me, he recommends me too. But it felt good, man. I've been blocking my butt off all year and the coaches respect me. So, so, <laughs> so, going into next week, last home game of the season. What, what are you thinking about? How are you going to prepare? Getting ready for that? Well, for one, we got to We can't. I mean, we, we can't like oversell this victory because we got two more games left. So I feel we need to get straight back to preparation. Uh, yeah, it is. Go back into the film room and get ready for the next game, and uh, you know, just just beast out. Once again, in the locker room with another key player to Aggies victory, Kenneth Brown. Now you blocked the field goal. Cal Poly, they, they thought they were going to score. Everybody thought they, they were pretty close. And what was going through your mind when you felt the ball go through your fingers? Well, what went through my mind was uh, I was looking back to see if anybody got it. So I was about to wheel around and just hit somebody as hard as I could, really. But uh, last year, I got a block, too. Same, uh, same kicker, so I knew I was going to get one. So you guys seen the looks on their faces after, after you guys won. Everybody's running on the field with the golden horseshoe. How does that feel knowing they're going home four-hour bus ride disappointed? Oh, it feels great because the last two years they just demolished us. They beat us. They put up like 53 points on us last year, and it just—it always feels good to be Cal Poly. A lot of my friends play on that team, and you know, a lot of those guys try to get in here, and uh, Cal Poly took our recruits away. So, it feels great to beat them. So, chance a chance to win the the Great West Championship if you guys win next next week. What are you guys gonna do to prepare to, to get that W? Well, we're going to keep doing the same things we've been doing, you know, make sure we tackle well and everything. We're coming up with a great uh, game plan to beat these guys, and we all know we're playing for a uh, championship, so if you can't get excited for that, you shouldn't be playing. Was finally over. Final score 23 to 10. The Aggies end the Mustangs three year winning streak, bringing the Golden Horseshoe home for the first time in four years. I'm Brandon Still once again with Aggie TV. Go Aggies!